All right, so this is the game of Blackjack on my Vegas Blackjack. This in particular is the Shaq Orlando version. The object of the game for Blackjack is typically to get as close to the number 21 without going over the number 21 as possible. And all of the cards, once you get to 10 and above, count as 10, with the exception of the ace, which can count as either 1 or 11. This is a casual casino type game. Age range is 18 plus, since it is a casino game. You can have two, three, four, or five plus players, but in this case, I'm doing three hands on my own. Some thoughts about this game are that I really like the audio for the game. Normally, I just turn it off completely. Man, that's messed up. But I really enjoy the background music and then also the audio clips from Shaq himself, which is cool. He'll say things like nothing but nut and I, I, I don't know, other stuff. When you are given cards and you want to continue getting cards, you can hit the word hit which will signal your intention to the dealer and then if you decide that you want to stop getting cards then you can hit stand which will hold and move to the next player in this game there are also some special cards and each one of them has a particular Shaq character on it. It's usually sparkly and the goal of these cards is to find the number that is here on the right. And then once you get to a certain number, you get extra points. In addition to the hands there are also chances to get extra money during times when you get a blackjack or 21 when you're dealt the hand it will give you the opportunity to earn more by playing this basketball game i'm not really good at it so i typically just continue without trying my luck During certain hands, if you get two cards with the same denomination, you can split them. If you split them, then you have to play them essentially as two separate hands. So you have to put up the same amount of money for the second hand, play the first hand, and then completely play the second hand. In this instance, they also give you power-ups for splitting, which is over here in the left corner. Once you get a power-up, it gives you more in-game currency. The in-game currency is a little bit different from the rewards points, which are over here. These rewards points will get you actual rewards. In the My Vegas series of apps, you can get things like comp, hotel days, tickets to shows around Vegas. You can get free gameplay in some of the casinos. The other things too are different types of tourist attractions around Vegas, like the Wax Museum. This is something that my friends and I use in order to get 
cheaper experiences when we go to Vegas, which we love to do. In addition to the rewards, points, and the in-game currency, there are also places in the top menu for your level, the current percentage that you are at until the next level, and then any kind of challenge timelines. The three stars here on the right are another type of challenge that you can go for. If you click on it, it will tell you what the challenge is. Typically, it's things like bet a certain amount or win a certain number of hands. There are a couple of different things that it could be. I'm not really quite sure what this turbo button is. I've never played with it. I really enjoy the fact that when you can't you dare, play, you it turns something. off the buttons. That's some great UI right there. And the way that they turn off the buttons is to change the color from a purple to a gray color. And this signals that it is quote unquote off or disabled. The dealer will tell you when they're reshuffling. I don't know how many decks they have in this particular game. According to How to Play Blackjack from the BicycleCards.com website, it typically includes six decks within one game, and they reshuffle pretty often. Another option that you can play while you're choosing your strategy is to double down. Double down happens when the two cards that you're dealt will total either 9, 10, or 11. I typically just do 11. Sometimes I'll do 10. This will double your bet. It also is the most likely combination that will get you to the 21 based off of the number of cards that equal 10 and the amount that you currently have. And that is why you would double down on a 9, 10, or 11. Do you guys like my soothing voice? I'm trying not to sound like an anime character.